Well, greetings, YouTube model people. How's it going? Okay, coming out of here with an update on my 2022 Halloween group build hosted by Russell over at Russell Model Cars. And um, yeah, I know Halloween has come and gone, but we are continuing on with our project. Uh, it is actually Saturday, November 5th, 2022, and a lot of the model community right now are enjoying the Acme show down at Smyrna, Georgia. So I hope they're all having a good time. Hope they're uh, staying safe and all that. And uh, I know they're having a good time for sure. It always is a good time. So, uh, you know, just thoughts with them. And uh, and hopefully they'll take lots of pictures and videos and such and keep us entertained. So anyway, but that's not, uh, that's basically for another time. So what we're going to do is now show you the progress of what I'm working on for the 2022 Halloween group build, which is the Grim Reaper Mobius kit. And this comes with the Grim Reaper himself, his long staff, uh, a base, some tombstones, a tree. It comes with a lot of stuff, guys. It's a whole scene, which is pretty cool, and this is why I bought the kit. Um, anyway, so we're just going to go through, um, looking at some things. We've got quite a bit of progress in the last few days on this. Uh, here's the tree. we still got a little bit of scene work to do here, just a little touch-up, nothing major. Um, it looks worse than it really is because we're going to be putting some putty in there and then just color it over with some browns and uh, it'll be ready to roll. Um, we just have a base color there of the tree. I was experimenting a little bit with some washes. Um, you can barely see it now, but this is going to get a series of brown, um, khaki, and uh, another sort of uh, dark brown wash. And then we'll see what it looks like. And maybe even at the end, like a, a dark gray wash. Uh, we'll just see how the tree is coming along and that's kind of why I never do like tutorials on stuff like this because honestly um, I'll show you why here and a perfect example is the base uh, and the way the vegetation is here it's all molded in plastic but this started out with just this plain brown right and uh, then I put green over this uh, dry brush green and that was too bright so we doubled it down with a darker green and then we put on some brown washes and then we put on a khaki um, green wash. And then finally, we put in some dark gray. So lots of colors in this, uh, in this base to get it to look like this. Um, and again, that's just the base because there'll be other uh, vegetation we add to this. Uh, these spots are those tombstones. This is the main plate. This is where I was using basically an area to test the colors against the brown. That was the main color I went with uh, for the green, um, as you could probably tell. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Uh, it's basically, as I said, it, the only advice I can give about doing dioramas and, and weathering like that is work in layers, right? They don't expect to put one thing down and it's going to look perfect, right? Just keep kind of playing with stuff, or at least that's how I approach it. Keep playing with stuff until it looks kind of what you think it should look like in your mind. So uh, here we have the little time capsule. Um, and uh, we'll end up gloss coating that to give that a little bit more of a, a uh, kind of a shiny wood appearance. Um, I think it would look pretty nice. Um, here is one of his hands. And we'll go through all the colors we used, guys. But this is kind of a cool, almost like a skull color, but a little bit on a yellow, kind of like, um, you know, faded out um, yellowed paper kind of look to it, which is the look I went for with the uh, Grim Reaper himself. And that's what we're going to show you next. So here is him. As you can tell, it's not a gray face. It's more of like that yellowed kind of um, aged skeleton kind of look to him. Um, and he is actually spray painted in NATO black. Um, and uh, yeah, we have uh, lots of work left to do on him. Obviously with all the uh, shading and highlights, mostly highlights, I guess, is what we're going to be working on uh, for the most part. Um, he's already pretty dark, so he goes right there. And then, of course, uh, the most important tool in his uh, toolbox, it's interesting they had the molded hand on there, is his giant blade. Um, this blade is painted at the top in two different colors. Again, we're going to go through all the colors at the end of the video. At the end, of, when we do a final one, we'll do the. But I've used two different colors: shadowed steel and honed steel. And there's actually a slight difference in the edge of the blade and the rest of the blade. And the rest of the blade is done with two colors. 
this was hand painted one color with a very light wash over the top. So again, working in layers, make it look, look gives that aged look, lived in look, so to speak, which is definitely something you need for a kit like this. So that's all we have for now, folks. I uh, hope you're having a great weekend. Uh, it's again, only a Saturday afternoon here. So uh, weekend is just starting. Um, have a great time. Be safe. Hope you get some bench time. And that is it for now. Okay. Cheers.